Hi there, my beautiful subscribers. This is Tina from TinaHills.com and this video will deal with the significations of Saturn in greater detail from ancient Hellenistic texts. So, uh, I made a video uh, called Saturn is Feminine, so please check that out. Uh, interestingly, uh, I also read somewhere that uh, Saturn is oftentimes considered to be the higher octave of the moon in very esoteric and occult practices of astrological magic. So when you think of that, immediately everything becomes clear because we've got uh, the three archetypes in the feminine, Venus the maiden, Moon the um, mother, and Saturn the crone. It makes sense, right, that Saturn is the higher octave of the moon. Now, if you think about the moon, the moon rules menstrual cycles and is responsible for procreation, whereas Saturn rules the karmic menstrual cycle, okay, uh, which is the, the essentially how we create, it's a feminine power in us, how we create. So, uh, if we look at uh, moon, what does the moon rule? The moon rules the fourth house, right? And... Uh, Saturn. Saturn rules the human family. Moon rules the personal family, whereas Saturn rules the larger human family through the Earth cardinal sign of Capricorn. And we obviously know that Saturn has more essential dignity in an air sign as he's exalted in um, um, Libra. And he's in a better off position. I mean, she is a better off position in Aquarius, okay? So that's a very interesting side of it. Also, if you look at the Kabbalistic tree of life, you will see that uh, Saturn is Bina, which is feminine wisdom. Okay, like the, the Gnostic Sophia. So I firmly believe that, I mean, I actually believe that Saturn is uh, a, like androgynous, Ardhanarishwara. So, I worship him as father and mother, Shani and Kali. But I think that somewhere there is a very strong uh, vibration of Saturn as feminine. Okay? So, I, I feel very, very close to Saturn as a mother. Okay? It's, it's a deep personal observation. So, you know... Now, going back to some of the significations of Saturn, uh, Saturn is, of course, cold, dry, melancholic, dark, of heavy harshness. So it's a very harsh energy signature, okay? He will be cold, moist, heavy, of stinking odor, okay, stinking odor. He rules lead. And he's of much eating and true esteem. So food, again, we see significations of food uh, coming through Saturn. And he signifies works of moisture and the cultivation of land and peasants and village companions and the settlement of lands, also buildings and waters and rivers and the quantities of measures of things. So Kronos is a measure of time. So we see Saturn not only measuring time, but Saturn being a measure of all things. So that's that's rather interesting if you ask me. Uh, everything, everything that you see in the material world is basically Saturn. Okay, and the divisions of the earth, also affluence and the multitude of assets. So what we you, you usually give the significations to Venus. We see that this is also very, very true of Saturn. Okay. Uh, masteries which are done by hand. So, again, that is something we usually ascribe to Mercury, you know, working with a hand, a Gemini rising. So, it, it also is a signification of Saturn. Greed and greatest and the greatest poverty and the poor. So he or she, the mother and the great father, they signify the poor. Although the moon is a signification of the common people. So you see how the moon and Saturn are very closely related. He signifies travel by sea 
and foreign travel that is far away and at great length and bad. Cleverness, envy, and wits, and seductions, and boldness, and dangers, and impediment, and hesitation, and being singular, and a scarcity of association with men. So, you know, if with a prominent Saturn, you see that there is a not too much association with men, like, you know, men and women, it's society, makes you a recluse of sorts. I have 12th house Saturn on the 29th, 29th Leo, so it makes absolute sense to me, okay? Uh, and pride and magnanimity and bluffing and bragging and the subjection of men, also the managers of a kingdom and of every work which comes to be with force and evil and injuries and a tendency to anger, even warriors and fettering and prison, also truth in words and esteem and prudence and understanding and experience and offense and obstinacy and a multitude of thoughts and a depth of counsel and insistence and stubbornness. In his or her method, you know, this is Saturn, very stubborn, uh, very, very stubborn. He does not easily get angry, and if he were angry, he would be able to rule his own mind. So, you know, that not that quick to temper, like say a Taurus or say a Mars uh, ruled Aries, okay, not that quick to anger, thank thankfully, okay. And he, he knows how to cogitate and, and realize his mistakes. He knows how to rule his mind. Okay, He does not let anger rule his mind. So he wishes good to no one. Okay, And also, of course, if he's tuning into the lower vibrations. I mean, that, that was a basic observation I have of Saturn. But yeah, Saturn can act like Mars as well and make you lose your mind. You get so angry, you are not able to rule your mind. And that's what it, the text actually says. But in my mind, I consider Saturn to be, uh, you know, at least he has a head on his shoulders even when angry. But then extreme power play is also Saturn's domain, right? Uh, he wishes good to no one, and he signifies of old men and weighty men and burdens and fear, griefs and sorrows and the complications of the mind. So we see a lot of mental illnesses are also attributed to Saturn. So mental illnesses, you also look at the, the in the natal chart, you look to Saturn. And you look to Capricorn and Aquarius, and you look to you know, whether it's a day chart, it's a night chart, and just so much more if you're really analyzing the complications of the mind. And fraud and affliction and difficulty and loss. Also ancestors and what is left behind by the dead. Mourning and being orphaned and old things. So old people, old things. All of this. Look, the coronavirus happened with the Saturn-Pluto conjunction in Capricorn. That signifies the elderly. Even grandfathers and fathers and brothers and senior people and slaves and mule drivers and men who are blamed and robbers. So even Mars signification is robbers. So again, you see the greater malefic and the uh, lesser malefic share some of the significations and those who dig up graves and who rob the garments of the dead and fitters of leather and those who blame things. Yeah, this is very possible with Saturn in the first or a cap or Aquarius rising. When, you know, someone is quick to blame if they've not, you know, worked with their Saturn. He signifies magicians and masters of discord and low-class men and eunuchs. And he signifies a great length of thought and scarcity of speaking and the knowledge of secrets, and one does not know what is in his mind, nor does a wise person make disclosures to him about every obscure matter, and he signifies austerity and the ascetics of religions. So this is a very interesting signification to think, significations to think of all of these, and interesting to consider Saturn, you know, also operating as a mother, 
also operating his Kali, also operating his Hecate, like I, you know, in my blog, uh, podcast, I think, or a video, I spoke about Saturn's connection to Hecate. So, you know, allow today on Saturn's day, allow the blessings of Saturn to come through for you. Because, you know, there is just, he is the Lord of the seventh planetary sphere. He brings to you the knowledge and the wisdom of the fixed stars. So connect with him. Connect with him deeply. For if you do, you will get favors with teachers, elders, authority figures, maybe governments, paternal types, maybe your own father, CEOs, bosses. Maybe even help from law enforcement is, is possible if you get the blessings of Saturn. Uh, support from respectful people who are, you know, highly respected. Uh, people who are poor, okay? People uh, of the... People who basically live through hard times, they will understand you. They will respect you. So... That was a bit. I will make another video on the significations of Saturn from Valence. But please meditate on all of these significations and see how they link up with your understanding of Saturn. Because after all, uh, astrology or Jyotish, if you look at the Sanskrit word, is, is the language of light, you know. So it's not some dead beat uh, a tool to date someone or figure out if you know you're okay with your crush. It's it's a it's a tool of self actualization. That's what Jyotish is. That's what astrology is. Connect to the planetary diamonds where you can reverse any misfortune in your life, and that is Saturn's message. So thank you for very much for listening and join me for the next video where I will be going deep into the significations of Saturn uh, in contextual understanding of Vatius Valens, a Turkish uh, astrologer, Hellenistic astrologer. So stay tuned for that. Thank you and bye. Oh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share. Check out my podcast. Check out my four blogs. Uh, and of course my youtube channel check out all the content and don't forget to subscribe